Uh, All right, Mindy. Men mm. would rather play a new computer game than spend a night of passion with their significance. A survey of over 1,000 men found that a whopping 72% said they would give up a night with the wife to play a new game. <laughs> really? <laughs> Even when only talking about games they already owned and had played before, 32 still percent still opted for the game console <laughs> yeah. oh man wow that's well that might be the reason why uh we're having a population crisis god <laughs> are you kidding people are not breeding anymore uh, it's, it's, I, me I, it's the men's fault i wonder what the They're age playing too many video games. i wonder what the age group is on this i yeah that would be fascinating it's not me no, I, I don't, don't even have a video game in my house. Not you know, one video game. I know. You know, it's funny because I take these like surveys for fun to like make a little, little bit of money on the side. And a lot of these surveys are about video games. Oh, and they all ask games. this one question. What kind of consoles do you have in your house? None. And I say none. And you know what happens? They I'm. I'm literally done with the survey. They click me out. They don't want to. So that tells you every household probably has some sort of gaming. But wait a minute. Everyone. To be fair, when we were growing up, did you have a game? I had console? Nintendo. I had Nintendo. But it was a kid's thing, right? You grew out of it after like high uh, school. Uh, yeah. I got hobbies. Real <laughs> hobbies that actually <laughs> yeah. made me smarter and, and, and got me out in the world. I learned how to play the drums. So I played with other musicians. I got on stage. I experienced things that made me uncomfortable, that made me a better human. I didn't sit in a room. He, he. Well, now you you're judging. Video. You know what? I am. <laughs> you're right. Okay. And, and maybe it's harsh. Maybe it's not the, a nice thing to say. Maybe it's not a virtue, right? right. That we just discussed earlier. Yeah. But yeah. how many of these weirdo kids? Do you encounter as an as an older person in in the workforce? Like you can't even look at me in the eye, bro. You can't even eye contact. I know that is. They're, they're looking down at their feet. We talked about that in a couple podcasts ago, where you go to engage with a kid nowadays, oh. and they don't look at you, or they're looking down, or they. They don't even want to speak. And these are the people that become your manager, by the way. I'm just saying that this is, if you're, if you're like me, I chose, you know, I, I made the choices in my life, but they all went to school. I was working on my other stuff, trying to be a musician, trying to do all these different things. So they become my manager and these dorks are telling me what to do. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, Alrighty, we better move on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a little heated about it. It was a because... great conversation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And they're not making love to their spouses right now. Mm. They're just, oh, no, I want to play my video game. Okay. Pull your, you know, whatever. joystick out of your hand. Put your joystick in your hand. 